Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pokemon. So, I waited until nighttime, or dusk I suppose, to start recording this episode because it's time to start training our Eevee to evolve it into Umbreon. Hopefully by getting it to evolve by friendship or whatever that status affection. I, I don't know if those are actually two different things. But yes, getting Eevee to evolve at nighttime by leveling it up at night. Hopefully not anywhere near a mossy stone, because I would I would hate to get Leafeon instead. We're also going to be doing this in the forest because I do want to find another Eevee. We completely lost the last one wherever it went. Makes me sad. Oh, sigh. But now we have 19 Pokeballs. I'm sure if we run into another Eevee, it will be no problem catching it whatsoever. So let's go ahead and get started. Kakuna! Kakuna, come back. Kakuna. Kakuna. There we go. Oh, what is this? All right. Tail whip, sand attack. Don't don't need a sand attack. I hope it doesn't use harden too much. You can. Yes. All right. Very nice. There you go, Eevee. There is not really a ton for me to talk about. We're almost at twenty eight thousand subscribers, which makes me very happy. By the way, I realize that. With the uh, the interest in Minecraft dinosaurs waning as we continue to go on for uh, new people coming to the channel. That tends to uh, go down over time, not getting as many views on the early episodes. But it's okay because as we collect more subscribers and more of you guys decide to stick around and hang with our channel, we uh, we get... Oh, Metapod. Metapod. Oh, it's such a tiny Metapod. Oh, it's so... Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Metapod, come here. Metapod. Come here. Come here, Met Metapod, where are you going? Oh, it's so Metapod. small I can't even hit it. Metapod! There we go. But yeah, as more people decide to stick around, then we, we get more views on our more recent videos. And me making daily videos, or mostly daily videos, results in some more views from our more recent content rather than our older content. So I'm not too worried about that at all. We're, we're steadily making our way towards... Ooh, apparently I've already been down there. Steadily making our way towards 100,000 subscribers, which is, you know, basically the the last long-term goal that I have in my mind, personally. Hmm, level 19. Maybe maybe we should try to try to fight this guy and switch out for uh, another Pokemon. Let's see what what other. Maybe maybe try Ivy. Mean look. I'm I'm not worried about your mean look whatsoever. Razor Leaf. Not bad. Not bad. Critical hit. Ivysaur. Oh, it's not very effective. Hmm. Take no take down's normal. It won't work. Oh well, Razor Leaf is fine. I have no issues. But yeah, so slowly, slowly making our way to 100,000 subscribers. I'm really cool with that. I I realize that I haven't talked a lot about level 14, level 15, and it did not evolve. All right. I haven't really talked about us growing very much recently because well. Once you get to 25,000 subscribers, you're sort of like, uh, maybe, maybe 50,000 is the next point where it's, it's worth saying something about it. I don't, I don't really know, Hypno, what level are you? You are level 37, let's not mess with you just yet. Let's, let's just fight some, some level 20-ish Pokemon. Metapod. There's something to be said for growing, and, and growing to the point to where you no longer think that getting another 100 subscribers is is really something to uh, freak out about. Indeed, I of course appreciate all of you here, but it, it makes me feel very happy and secure, I guess you could say, that I no longer feel like I need to have a small party whenever I have another 100 subscribers show up. And of course, as usual, I continue to get emails and Facebook messages. That's that's something actually that I would like to encourage you all to do if you haven't already. You guys should totally go and join the Facebook group because the Facebook group is probably one of the easiest ways to get in contact with me. And uh, needless to say, a lot of people send me emails and it usually takes me a long time to answer all of those emails. Does Razor Leaf not work? It missed. It missed! What is this nonsense? Missing- Oh, that's- that's not good. Um... I guess we should send out Flare then. 
Dragon Rage. <laughs> but yeah, joining the Facebook group if you haven't already, please click on the link below in the description, the video description. The ooh, what is this? Sweet scent. A pleasant aroma that distracts the target, making them easier to hit. No, I don't really care. Not at all. It's definitely the easiest way to get in contact with, uh, contact with me joining the Facebook group. So if you want to talk to me outside of my videos, which not everyone does, but if you do, that's a, a really good way to do so. And we could always use some more... What are the words that I'm trying to think of? Some more exposure! No, that's level 2. I don't want to fight that. Some more exposure on various media forms. I, uh, I did an AMA on Reddit the other day to sort of get our name out there as a Let's Player as well as to let Redditors know more about people who do YouTube as a full-time job. That was very fun and very interesting, but I was very tired afterwards. I, I did not sleep for like 24 hours so that I could do that. Growlithe, Growlithe, where, where did you go? Come here. Growlithe, come back. Come back, Growlithe. There we go. Level 14, level 16. I'm pretty sure I can take you. I can take you myself. Yeah. Roar? Roar, you made me run. Ah, oh, freaking... Ridiculousness. What is that? That's a trainer. That's a weird looking Growlithe. What level are you, Growlithe? Level 6? No, I don't... You're not worth my time. Ooh, meat. Nom nom nom. Oh, I noticed that Minecraft now has version 1.7.2, I think, and all sorts of new interesting things like new new ways to go fishing and things like that. I can only hope that Minecraft dinosaurs, they update their uh, their mod pack, the fossil and archaeology mods, so that I can update to 1.7.2, and then hopefully I'll be able to try out like the new fishing and stuff. That would be cool. I was always really disappointed with the fishing in Minecraft because... I love fishing in basically every single game that I play. Oh, tss, do not throw the Pokeballs, Magnius. This is not a good idea. But Minecraft fishing is just uh, terribly boring in my... Pr what? What is... Go away. Go away. I don't... There we go. Just black apricorns everywhere. Everywhere, I say. Can you use these to make our Ultra Balls? Yeah, uh, what what are other games that have had fishing? The fishing is not the main point, but I just freaking love it. Maybe Zelda Ocarina of Time. That was an amazing game. The fishing, the fishing, it distracted me for hours. I never, I never really got around to uh, playing the game some days because I would just fish. That's pretty sad if you think about it. Final Fantasy XI was another game where I was like, oh, I'm just, I'm just going to fish forever. Don't mind me. Growlithe, what level are you? Level 15 Mankey? There we go. Oh, ow, 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 low kick, it hurts. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure that fighting these, these low level Pokemon is not exactly what I'm looking for in terms of speed of leveling up Eevee. But it's becoming daytime now, so let's go ahead and switch over to Ivy, perhaps. Hmm. I keep hoping that if I keep coming back over here that uh, the Eevee will come back, but clearly it's not going to. It has no plans. To return, hey, what level are you? Level 35? No, no. Hmm, what's over here? Nothing. I don't know, I, I keep... I'm trying to put into words the problems that I feel are in the Pixelmon mod. One of the primary ones is that because there are so many Pokemon, but yet not that many in the mod yet, it comes down to 
oh, we're in the forest. I know that there are going to be tons of metapods, tons of weedles and cocoonas, tons of mankeys, and if you go to the beach, you're going to find tons of crabbies. It's basically how it is. There aren't... Goldine. And, like, basically every single thing of water you come to, you're going to find goldines everywhere. Maybe Goldine. one or two sea kings. Goldine. Oh, hello, Pikachu. You're a jungle Pikachu. What in the world are you doing here? I have no idea. But it just it just feels like the mod is missing some variety. Oh, hello, far-fetched primate. What level are you, primate? Ah, yes. You are indeed... I'm gonna fight you with my Scyther. Scyther! Scyther! There we go. Haha. <laughs> Level 28, nice. But yeah, I just I just wish that uh I, I don't know if it could really work since Minecraft the way that it works, it's open world, you can go anywhere, there aren't really paths for you to take. So you can't start off with low level Pokemon and then end up later getting high level Pokemon. I guess maybe if someone made a map with the Pixelmon mod and then at a later point you uh you like edit it in so that various levels could spawn in certain areas, different types could spawn in different areas. What level are you? Level 10? I'm gonna fight you with my Eevee. You're wearing a Pikachu shirt! Donnie, that's amazing! Please don't, don't evolve, Eevee. If you evolve into Espeon, I swear. Spiro? Alright. Don't don't die, Eevee. Although I would I would prefer you to die than evolve into an Espeon. Uh this is Geodude. What? I don't can't fight Geodude Ivysaur. like this. I have a sword, go. Raise it leap. Nice. Ivysaur. You sent out Mankey. The Mankey's just just sort of chillin'. Yeah, we still have an Eevee good. Uh let's let's send out Tsunami, our War Turtle. Haven't really used War Turtle yet. There we go. Another Spiro? Come on. Come on, dude. And another Mankey. I I'm starting to see a pattern here, Donnie, and I wonder, do you have six of these Pokemon Mankeys and Spearows? At least, at least he has appropriate Pokemon for a level 10 trainer, you, you know? Because that's that's basically what we have when we're level 10. What? You're not weak? No, not, not especially, I'm afraid. But I really... Oh, I don't know. I feel the lack of direction. And Pixelmon is is definitely a major issue. Of course, this this has a lot to do with the fact that they haven't implemented gyms yet. I'm sure gyms would probably fix a lot of that. Hopefully, when they implement gyms, they'll also fix the crafting Pokeballs issue. But it just it just feels sort of empty, sort of like not exactly like Kerbal Space Program because Kerbal Space Program is simply amazing, and even without any sort of mechanic to push you towards the horizon of your abilities. Even without things like that, you can still do a lot of amazing things in Kerbal Space Program. But it's it's just... I don't know, it feels as if there's something innately missing from the Pixelmon mod to get me to, to want to continue to level my Pokemon other than just wanting to see their evolved forms. I feel... I feel that that's a major criticism that I have for the Pixelmon mod, and I, I don't know if you guys feel similarly. I don't know how many of you have actually played the Pixelmon mod. First of all, that would be something to ask you guys. How many of you have played Pixelmon? What do you feel is missing? Is it something that you can continue playing for a very long period of time, even alone? Maybe if I were playing with other people on a server, such as Super Ro- Oh, it's a wild Raichu. What? What is- Oh, Kangaskhan. Actually, what, what level is Kangaskhan? You're probably 30-something, right? 
Yeah, you're level 33. Hmm. Maybe we should go beat up this Raichu. Oh, it's Lickitung. Do I have a Lickitung yet? I'm gonna guess that means no. All right, so maybe maybe we should try to catch this Lickitung. Drowsy. What what level Drowsy. are you? You're level 29. I may be able to take you out. I don't know if I can catch Drowsy. you with Pokeballs though. So let's see. Drowsy. Gonna use Wing Attack a few times. Because False Swipe isn't. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. Let's go for a False Swipe. Drowsy. All right. Not not Pokemon. I don't I don't know if we can catch Lickitung in a Pokeball, but we're gonna try because we haven't run into an EV. May as well try to catch this Lickitung. Ugh. Drowsy. Lickitung is probably one of the Pokemon that I remember for being like absolutely hilarious. Drowsy. Just just the fact that Lickitung has a huge tongue. And it's called Lickitung. It, I realize it's very childish, but when I was a child, I was very childish. And I just found it a hilarious name for... Go, go Flare. For a Pokemon. If you think about it, actually, like, the names, the names for Pokemon are actually very, very well done. At least the earlier series. I don't, I don't know about, you know, the later series that I haven't played. But for the most part, the early series, the names are amazing. Some of them were not very creative, I guess. Ekans and Arbok Rousey. coming to mind, just being Snake and Cobra spelled backwards. Changed the C to a K. Rousey. But for the most part, most of them were... Ha they had fairly relevant names. Things that small children maybe don't Rousey. always get at first. Like, I didn't realize that Ekans was Snake spelled backwards until I read about it in a magazine or on the internet or something Rousey. like that. Which goes to show you that I was probably sort of a stupid kid. But... Drowsy. Come on, Lickitung, just stay in... Yes! Wonderful! We caught Lickitung in a Pokeball. Oh, now we're fighting Drowsy? I, uh... I don't want to fight Drowsy during the day. Drowsy. I want to I wanna keep my Eevee for now, thank you. So I guess we're not going to be able to... Ooh, whoa. We're not going to be able to get our Umbreon this episode, but later... Uh, I think I'm going to wait to name the Umbreon until we actually get it. And when we evolve our Eevee into Umbreon, that episode is the episode where I will ask you all for names. Because I want to make sure that everyone has a chance to provide names. Instead of just using the names that are on a very, very old episode. Well, not very, very old. It's only like a week and a half old or two weeks, something like that. But nonetheless, I want to wait until... We actually have the Umbreon to name it. I'll pick up that meat. I don't even have to farm because there are mill tanks everywhere killing each other, giving me food. Have I caught a Jinx yet? I don't know. Let's see. Lickitung is there, definitely. Jinx? Jinx is not there. Alright, so I guess we need to catch a Jinx as well. But we do not have time this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this catching that Jinx for next episode. I had completely forgotten that I didn't catch a Jinx, and you're disappearing into the blocks. Oh well, anyway, thank you so much everyone for watching. My name is Megnius, and I will see you next time.